against the backdrop of the lot of progress that has been made uh, in addressing the issues of poverty since the Millennium Development Goals were adopted, there are obviously gaps. A lot of the progress has been made uh, by actions of government, NGOs, and international aid institutions. Uh, SEED was established at the end of 2011 with a somewhat different intent, which is to transform the lives of people living in poverty on a massive scale and in the foreseeable future. And uh, we'll just uh, make those weasel words for now and define what foreseeable future means a little bit later. The premise is that the private sector has not played the, the kind of role that it could have played in the development so far. So how do we engage the private sector in doing this? We have adopted uh, the fact that enterprise is a very effective way of addressing the issues of poverty, even if you are not working directly with the poor. And we are focusing at SEED on innovation, again, entrepreneurship, and scaling of businesses. And uh, it's just merely a coincidence that we're both talking about innovation and scaling. And what we have been doing is using a model that, again, is a little bit different. Uh, I think if you uh, look at what's been done in the past and you ask entrepreneurs why, uh, or, or government officials, why is there little uh, private sector action, most people will say it's because of the lack of capital. If you ask the people who are the sources of capital why they are not investing, they have a long list of uh, issues to deal with. Uh, including red tape and uh, uh, lack of deals, uh, no exits, and so on. We think they are both right. And what we have done at Stanford is to look at an integrated model, not solving one problem at a time, but looking at this from an integrated uh, uh, point of view to combine research, student engagement, and very importantly, direct action on the ground in developing economies. Now, this is tough for a university to do, but we have taken it on. Uh, we have uh, developed an innovation center in West Africa that is now based in Ghana. And what we are hoping to do is to expand that around the world after we answer a few questions. Uh, one of the signature programs that we are doing is called the Transformation Program which tries to take small and medium enterprise, uh, uh, medium-sized companies and scale them to have impact on society. A very important piece of it is an experiential piece that is led by Sanford faculty, and then a resident coaching program where we have broad coaches, mostly now from the US, but uh, increasingly from other countries, to be resident in the regions in which we're working and actually roll up their sleeves and work with these companies to grow them. Uh, and as we have been doing this, we have learned a few things, which are some of which I would like to share with you, uh, and that we're tackling, that this is not an instructional issue. The issue is not to teach people the skills of management. It goes way beyond that. What we are finding are issues, for instance, such as uh, the creative confidence and mindsets. Uh, we collected a few uh, secondary school students and we asked them what they wanted to do when they left school, when they graduated from college. We were surprised that the most popular answer was accounting. And so you would think, well, you know, where is the imagination? But it's very practical for people who don't have a lot of money. Accounting uh, provides a stable job. Where are the big ideas? And we thought they, they, maybe they weren't there. And then we asked. If we could guarantee you that you would not fail whatever you said, what would you do? And the results were amazing. In fact, the young lady who first said accounting said, actually, I want to live on another planet. <laughs> and it went like that. So it's not for lack of imagination. It is a self-censorship which deals with the whole issue of mindset of what's possible. So what our coaches are doing on the ground without the businesses that we have engaged it's actually not just dealing with how do you do an Excel sheet, how do you uh, uh, do your financial reports, but very importantly, how do you think about a different kind of scale for your business and the role of the business in the society. We are working with partners on the ground, 
And what we've done uh, with our innovation center in Ghana is, is using it as a vehicle to be embedded in the community, developing partnerships with local institutions, and including banks and government officials and NGOs. And the idea uh, it comes from an African proverb that says, if you want to walk fast, you walk alone. If you want to walk far, you walk together. What we are doing is working with those uh, companies and, and the communities uh, in a very committed relationship for a long time to achieve the growth, as growth, growth prospects that we believe can have a big impact on poverty. Now, the question I have uh, that we would like to help with is that obviously we're a university and universities have a primary purpose which is not direct engagement on the ground. We have determined that that's necessary to do. So the question is, how do we scale this kind of model, which is very people intensive and very high touch, so that we can go global and reach maybe 200 million lives in about 20 years?